Hi, this is Lori Rizzo with Whip It Puppy Training again. Today, we're going to focus on teaching our dogs a really important exercise, and that's to come when they're called. Now, this is probably one of the hardest things for some people to teach or to get consistent. So today, we're just gonna talk about one exercise that you can use. Now, the general rule for teaching your dog to come is, whatever happens in the first 60 seconds after he comes dictates whether he comes again. So think about that when you're training your dog. What happens when you teach him to come? And is it truly a positive reinforcer? In other words, is what's happening after he comes to you really going to make him want to come again? So one thing I will mention is traditionally a lot of people will teach a dog to come in obedience class by bringing them up with the leash, having them come, and then making them sit. Well, you know what? Making a dog sit in front of you, generally, is not that positive. Because they come to you, they're excited, and then you make them do something else that some dogs don't really like to do. And whippet puppies really don't like to sit that much. It's tough for them. So I don't use a sit. When I teach a dog to come, I don't teach him to sit right away. I just get him to get in close to me. So the key is to get the dog close enough to you that you do not have to reach out. You want that dog coming really close, like almost right up to your crotch, I hate to say that, but really close so that you can grab his collar, clip it in case he's loose. So with this exercise, uh, the motivation, what happens after he comes is that he has a chance for play. So we're gonna use play as the motivator. We're also going to use a little bit of fear because what's going to happen is you're going to be playing the lost person. You are the lost owner. Your puppy has lost you and you know what? He needs to find you. And just the thrill of finding you using his nose, which is a huge motivator, and the game is what makes this such a fun exercise and one that really reinforces coming. So I'm gonna do the first step. And the first step you can do in your house when it's cold out, and I'm gonna do it in my house because I don't have a cameraman, so it's kind of hard to do this. But I've got my puppies outside, and I'm actually gonna do it as a group exercise, <laughs> um, but a little bit of competition in there is my puppies are outside. I have a dog door. So I'm opening the window to the outside. The puppies are out there playing. I am going to, in a very terrified kind of manner, say, puppies, come. And when you say come, you want to say it in such a way that they know this means come as fast as you can and right away directly to me. Don't just say, come here, blah, 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 blah. Okay, use a very, very distinct command. Dog, come. Use your voice. Make it strong. Make it a little bit high. Then what I will do, and you'll see me in this video, I'm going to go hide, cover myself up, and I'm waiting for these puppies to find me. And when they find me, I am the most grateful owner and they found their treasure. So this is a just a really fun exercise. Now if I'm outside, and I will try to get this tape next time, I go and I hide behind a tree. And I will go hide behind trees and objects, and then I make it longer and longer and longer as far as distance, and I make it harder for them to find me. So it's a great scent exercise. I actually trained my whippet, so 15 years ago, one of them to do search and rescue, and he actually worked a little bit with a FEMA team, and his initial introduction was the search and rescue recall, which is what I call it, the search and rescue recall. So let's get started. And you're not gonna see me for a minute, but you will hear me call the dogs. Now I've got a blanket. I'm gonna move my, uh, my uh, camera here so you can see me go hide and see what happens. But I also have a blanket right here so I can hide. So let's watch what happens when I call these puppies.